Hi guys, uh, welcome back. This is Mr. Viz. So in the last video, we left at this point. So the character will be able to identify the blocker or uh, and uh, it will mantle. So we will fix the mantle properly in this video. So open the zombie character base and we have the wall height here. So based on the wall height we will uh, make it mantle with uh, uh, single hand mantle and the double hand long jump. So this one. So even here unity enable the root in a, uh, enable root motion and anim first frame and force root lock. The reason I am doing this here is uh, if I uncheck when the animation is playing uh, the character scale gets a bit bigger than the normal. So this fixed the issue for me. So uh, use this if you are facing the same issue. Now it is doing only this mantle. We will add the height checking. Okay, so for now I will just uh, disconnect this. Remove this right okay. so we will take the wall height and break vector we just need the z of it to see the height okay. then we need the height to which we need to compare uh, we can just use the z but uh, sometimes you know uh, when we when when our ground has a varied uh, height, uh, this won't work. So this will take with the uh, 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 something like this. So it will compare. Uh, so it will compare really give you a wrong number if we do it directly with the Z. So we will take the character mesh and get its socket location. And I'm using root split it and get the Z of it. So this minus okay, we will get the number here, and this number we will check. Uh, to a limit and uh, decide on which which mantle type to do. So for me, I think these numbers looks fine for me. So you can adjust to your uh, liking. So we will pass the uh, montage uh, name via variable. So promote this to a variable. Mantle montage, and I'll create uh, a montage for this mantle type also. Create an in montage. Okay, this is fine. Then we will set depending upon this. So if it is less than 150 we will use this and if it is paid then we will we need to add one more branch. There we will check if it is greater than 220. Like this and if it is greater than 220 the character cannot uh, jump on that. Uh, if it is less than 220, then we will set the montage here. Uh, to a mantle, so it is here. Then uh, uh, we need to position the character uh, uh, properly when it is mantling. For that, I am creating a position offset. 
so this we will handle on the anim notify so this mantle will not be uh, as big or complicated like uh, the uh, character mantle function on the als anim bay uh, sorry als character bay because we are just doing it for an AA character. So we, we don't want it to be that accurate and that uh, intensive. So I, I have used a simple logic so that it pushes to the on the uh, item uh, to an extent. So I hope this looks fine. So I'll just uh, add this position offset. Okay, this has to be a float sorry. So let this be 0 for now, we will adjust that later and after this we will set jumping as 2. And once we have decided, uh, I will again add a delay here. So as I said in the previous videos, uh, I am adding delay just to uh, make the zombies look or uh, uh, the zombie behavior a difference between uh, other zombies again this delay is it's it's optional so when the zombie decides it has to mantle it will come here it will delay for a particular second and then it will uh, run the uh, uh, montage and before we are uh, running the montage, I don't know if you already have it. So before we are running the montage, we have to uh, disable the collision. No collision. And we have to set the location of the character uh, nearby to the destruction, uh, destruction point. So we will do that also again uh, on the collision component itself we will do and to set uh, on the location the location of it we will take wall normal. And add a multiplier. Add it to the wall location. Break this and make a vector. The reason we are uh, breaking it and making vector is the Z has to come from the capsule so that the character uh, uh, is maintained at the right height. So I am using capsule component itself for everything uh, because uh, if I am taking the actor location rotation that there were some issues. So I tested with the uh, uh, capsules attributes and that, that looked better, much better to the actor's values. Okay, we are taking the Z and this will be our uh, new location. And we will set the rotation also. We can set it via single node also. But uh, I, I prefer uh, using two different ones. You can you can set it via world the location rotation. You can use that also. So this is one st simple way to make it uh, uh, look at the wall so that it did it, it doesn't uh, 
jump on the wall uh, in, in a cross way. You just need the yeah. So you will disable. Oh, sorry. We don't need all this. We we'll just set the yeah. And connect it to and connect it to rotation. And once uh, rotation is also set, then we will uh, play the montage. Okay, and once we start the montage, we have to set the character movement to fly. Sorry, movement mode. So this has to be set to flying and once the montage is completed we have to revert back all these so we will set that to walking set that to walking then we have to uh, enable the collision Set collision enabled. Set the collision to uh, collision enabled. And after a little delay, we will uh, set jumping to false. Okay, they should be fine. Let's test it now. Okay. So it has crossed and uh, came here and we will set the height and see whether it is doing the upper mantle. Okay, it's still doing that. I will increase the height furthermore. Okay, we will need to fix that. Let me try to print this height to see what's the value we are getting there so that we can adjust it accordingly. Now I have to get this value. It's one twenty four. I'll set this to hundred. So this values you can just you know try running your uh, uh, game and see. So now you can as you can see it it use the high mantle. Now we have to position the arms exactly at this point. So that we will handle via uh, anim notifies, which we will see it in the next video. So as of now, it has to your character has to uh, come here, do a mantle, climb and down. So this is this should be our final result at end of this video. We will set up the actor's position uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching.